In this example, we're looking at the double integration of a complicated function of two variables now. So we're trying to find now the volume under a surface within some defined area. So looking at our problem here, this is certainly one we would not be interested in uh, trying to solve by hand since we were taking the sine of an x times a y. We have a cosine of a squared term, and it's going to be a double integral. But because we're finding the definite integral of this, we can use numerical cubature in this case to find it. And instead of using the integral function as we used previously, we can use the integral two function to solve it. So first I want to define my function. I'll just call it here uh, z, and it's going to be a function now of x and y, two independent variables. So the function itself is just the, uh, the stuff inside the integrand, so that's going to be the three plus sine of x, y, and here we do want to put everything in vector form so that we can use this, times the cosine of y squared, again with the dot there so that it is in vector form. Right, so there I have my definition of z, and I want to first just plot what the uh, original function looks like so I can see the surface of which I want to find the volume beneath. Uh, so if I do that, I'm going to do this using a mesh plot. So I want to make a mesh grid first. Because x goes from 0 to 5, I only need to plot that part of the area, and y is going to be the same way. And as we've seen before, we can use mesh grid to turn these two vectors into matrices. Big X, big Y. And I can make my mesh plot. I have my X, I have my Y, and then Z of X, Y. But what we're trying to find is the volume under this, uh, but starting at the x, y axis. So I actually want to define my axes here. So I know x goes from 0 to 5. I know y goes from 0 to 5. And I want my z to start at 0. Uh, and this looks like it goes up to, I'll also say, from 0 to 5 here. All right, so now we can see a little bit more detail. This volume underneath here is really what we're looking at. The uh, trying to find that area. So again, very complicated to try to do by hand, but because we have a nice definition of the function we want to take the integral of, we can use numeric cubature to do this within MATLAB. So what I can do is use the integral to command here with my function, now a function of x and y, and then I want to give it the bounds. In this case, my x bounds go from 0 to 5. Also, my y bounds go from 0 to 5. All right, so rerunning this, let me not suppress it this time. I find that the uh, volume underneath this surface, 76.684. Now, the integral 2 worked out here because our uh, x bounds and our y bounds were defined just as constant terms, 0 to 5, 0 to 5. But we could have more complicated um, bounds there where we might not want a nice rectangular area, but it could be a circle or something, some more complicated path. And in that case, something like integral 2 is not going to work out for us as well. And we're going to see how we can deal with that uh, a little bit later when we talk about Monte Carlo integration, which is good for, in especially in two dimensions, where we don't have nice uh, bounds that we're working with, where integral 2 is going to be useful for us.